right. right. Hello. Hey. The newly crowned king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Dimitri, has declared fealty to the Church of Seros and is raising an army in preparation for all-out war with the Empire. As leader of the Alliance, Claude maintains a facade of neutrality amidst infighting between those who support and those who oppose the Empire. Meanwhile, the Black Eagle Strike Force plans to capture Alliance territory before Edelgard takes the war to the Kingdom and the Church of Seros. With sights set on capturing Deirdre at the center of House Regan's territory, she leads a march across the Great Bridge of Murden to establish a bridgehead. We're about to commence our attack on the Great Bridge of Mernin. But first, allow me a moment of your time. It is something that I can only ask of you. Listen well. It concerns Lady Edelgard's uncle, the regent of the Empire, Lord Arundel. Although he is currently cooperating with Her Majesty, he maintains his own sizable military troops. It seems to me that his plans differ from our own. I assume you recall a certain group scheming from five years ago? Solon and Kranya. They both served Lord Arundel. <laughs> Professor, I understand how you must be feeling, considering what they did to your father. I know it must be foul to even consider cooperating with their kind. However, their power is essential for us at present. Edelgard also strongly opposed the idea at first. Our enemy is the Church of Seros itself. It cannot be toppled with the Empire's might alone. Those working under Lord Arundel are extremely hostile toward the Church. And the enemy of our enemy is... Well, I think you sufficiently understand by now. Until all of Fodlan is united, it is a necessary evil. As for how we deal with him afterward, time will tell. Regardless, Her Majesty and I wish to join our power with yours. You should know that in her heart, 
Her Majesty regards that group as enemies of herself and her family. They used her father, the former Emperor, as a puppet, and murdered her siblings with their vile experimentation. I believe Her Majesty may have told you some of this herself. That is why this was a very painful decision for her to make. I will do all I can to ensure her suffering is not in vain. And I hope I can count on you to do the same. As for all I have told you, please keep it in mind as we march forward. More importantly, I implore you to fight as best you can for Edelgard. From the bottom of my heart, I beg this of you. We'll be capturing the Great Bridge of Murden, a key strategic location of the Leicester Alliance. Claude will surely be sending reinforcements, so we must prevail before they arrive. Our opponent is Judith, the so-called hero of Daphnal. We can handle her, so long as we don't get careless. The boy said to run if I was in danger, but I could never do that. I'll hold out until reinforcements arrive. I'll cut a bloody path. What a bother. Olaf. My orders? What's my strategy? I'll do my best. I will prevail. Ready when you are. Let's clean up.
hardly worth the effort. Will be captured, Claude was a report he can handle. The boy I could never My orders for the Empire. What's my strategy? I must lead them well. Your spirit is admirable. I will prevail. Let's clean up. Ready when you are. I'm awake. Try to keep up! On. It was meant to be. I think I'd let you go. Allow Thank <laughs> you. 
start. put up with orders from that false leader. Enemy reinforcements. We didn't finish in time. Don't let them secure the ballista. their numbers. I must lead them well. Feels good to fight for a cause.
Ready when you are. What's my strategy? Here is something to believe! Uh, Another victory. My orders? For the Empire. I'll cut a bloody path. Make a difference? I'll do my best. So nice of you. There's no reason I should die in this place. It's time for... Where's my weapon? Just my... Let's clean up. Ready when you are. Sending their numbers. I will prevail. I'll cut through. Let's make this quick. What's my strategy? It won't be in vain. My orders? How about a curtsy? Let's put... For the Empire! I'll cut a bloody path. I'll do my best. Well done. Yeah. 
Feels good to fight for our cause. my strategy. This could turn the tides. My orders? For Gerald. Let's see. Let's clean up. I will prevail. Ready when you are. I'm awake. I'll cut through. Let's make this quick. Just my luck to be born.
situation is dire. Ready when you are. situation is dire. Let's clean up. Ready when you are. situation is dire. I will prevail. Oh! There's no reason I... Let's clean up. <laughs> Setting their numbers. I'll do my best. I do not tolerate obstacles. What's my strategy? Must lead them well. No time for accolades. I'll cut a bloody path. Did the trick. This is it. Claude, I'm sorry. I couldn't defend the bridge. All who are able, retreat! Don't let her escape. If we can take her out now, the Daphnil territory will be ours. That will allow us to march safely through the Alliance. Watch and learn! I 
I've got no time for mercy. Apologies. I'll cut through. Ready when you are. We can't place the future of Fodlin in Edelgard's hands. If you're allied with the Empire, I have no choice but to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known this would happen. Ignat, damn it! Such a good kid. He died too young. What's my strategy? Another victory. Let's clean up. I'll cut a bloody path. 
Let's make this quick. I'll cut through. I'll do my best. A great one. Ready? Go. Your death is not in vain. Judith has fallen. Further conflict is futile. If you surrender, your lives will be spared. Lay down your weapons immediately. You have all fought well. With this victory, we now have a foothold in the Alliance. The Imperial Army will cross the Aramid River and push the front lines forward. The fight will continue, but do not allow that to stop you from taking pride in our hard-won victory. Ah, this should put a stop to one of Edelgard's choice phrases. Well done, Professor. I believe it was, if only the Professor were here, we could forge ahead and change the tides of this war. Ferdinand, it is not necessary to tell the Professor such things. <laughs> We're not the only ones benefiting. The whole Imperial Army is stronger now. Judith of Daphne, oh, what a magnificent warrior. I'm happy to have the Professor back just like old times, but I don't think I'll ever get used to this cruel exchange of lives. When there is something you must not be conceding, you must keep fighting. The fighting has been continuing for five years. But now I am again witnessing the Professor's power. I hate fighting, but with the Professor here, maybe it's slightly less terrible? Oh, but everyone is working so hard! I'm glad to see everyone so inspired. It seems the reappearance of the Professor has done much to raise your morale. Do you not feel the same, Hubert? Come now, be honest with yourself. Now, we must take advantage of the situation and blaze ahead. Our path is still a long one. Part 2. Crimson Flower. Guardian Moon. The Master Tactician. Having crushed the Alliance's army and captured the Great Bridge of Murden, the Imperial Army prepares to attack Deirdre, the Alliance's base of operations.
Professor, what is your opinion of Claude? I can't help but wonder what sort of impression he made on you. That is inarguable, and his schemes are still going strong. With them, he's managed to keep the Lester Alliance from the Empire's grasp. Since the beginning, territories within the Alliance have been split between those who support the Empire and those who oppose it. Claude has been acting as an intermediary between the two, essentially keeping the Alliance pacified. As both sides are of equal strength, He's created a situation in which they've all agreed to avoid fighting each other and causing undue bloodshed. By carrying on as though the Alliance is united, he's minimized the Empire's influence there. <laughs> it's quite impressive how well his bold scheme has worked out. However, he is walking on thin ice. One wrong move and the Alliance will shatter. Speaking of Claude... Your Majesty, we should not delay in our invasion of the Alliance. It would seem that Claude has some fresh scheme up his sleeve, to no one's surprise. Is that so? Yes. The people of Deirdre have suddenly found it difficult to leave or enter the city. We can safely assume he is preparing for battle. But I am certain his plans extend beyond that as well. Do you not think we should take Deirdre at once? Deirdre, the aquatic capital. A city floating on the ocean certainly poses a challenge. Since it's deep within Regan territory, we haven't had the opportunity to attack it directly. However, now that we have control of the Great Bridge of Murden, our situation has changed drastically. They can no longer expand their supply line into the Empire, and so we can finally attack Regan territory. House Regan is not only Claude's house, but also the flagship of those who oppose the Empire within the Alliance. If House Regan falls, the other Alliance Lords will be tripping over themselves to join us. That is why we cannot fail to take Deirdre. Confidence is one thing, Professor. But see to it that you do not underestimate Claude. The leader of the Alliance has had many things said about him. They say he is unbeatable in a battle of intellect. I hear they call him the Master Tactician. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Delicious. Yes. Yes, I agree. Hmm? <laughs> hmm? Wow. When did you start sword training? I was five when I began. Are you sure? Thank you for... concludes my report. Hubert, I can't shake the feeling that you're keeping more secrets from me. I have told you before, there are secrets even I am unwilling to share. I remember. However, I am the Emperor now. If the Minister of the Imperial Household does not obey his orders, I have the right to execute him. I fear you have misunderstood me, Your Majesty. It is true that I am officially your minister, but such titles are of little significance to me. I serve you purely out of personal devotion. Perhaps there was a time when I served the Imperial line due to my duty as a member of House Vestra. But since you returned from the kingdom, 
My loyalty has been to you alone. I see. Then you are unwilling to obey my orders as Emperor? Correct. If you prefer to treat this formally, then charge me with a crime. I will gladly offer up my neck to the Executioner. You know I would never do such a thing, and that I pay no heed to the title you bear. It is your own presence and capabilities that I value so highly, Hubert. Titles are meaningless next to such things. Our families have no bearing on this matter, nor does the Empire itself. In that case, Lady Edelgard, I ask you to turn a blind eye to my secrets. They're trifles, beneath your notice. Best I handle them alone. You should focus on the path ahead of you. The Scarlet Path I have carefully prepared. Whether that path is red with blood is not something you need trouble yourself over. As Emperor, I'm obliged to accept that answer. However, as your friend, it irritates me to no end. You speak often of painting the path I walk, yet you do so in secret. I am the one you serve, but you refuse to let me in. I trust you, Hubert, and that is precisely why I want to know everything. Your secret hopes and burdens, all of it. If I'm truly the center of your world, then I wish you would trust me as well as I trust you. <sighs> Very well. You have me beaten. I will tell you as much as I am able. From the assassins I've eliminated, to the gold I've spent on bribes, to the identity of the one I love. Wait a moment. Are you saying you have romantic feelings for someone? Yes. That is the one secret I had particularly hoped to keep from you. Well, that's utter nonsense. You can't possibly keep something so fascinating from me. Who is it? It is you, Lady Edelgard. Did you ever really doubt? <laughs> Hubert, you never cease to surprise me. <laughs> Bernadetta, please come out of your room. You've been in there for ages. You need to train. Bernadetta. Um, no. Sorry, not happening. I'm not playing around, Bernadetta. This training is absolutely crucial to the war. I don't care. I can't handle it today. Please leave. Why did you come here? Why did I come here? I didn't choose to join the academy. I was forced. Then more stuff happened, and I didn't have a say in any of it. So, here I am, somehow. I suppose not everyone has to be pleased about being here. But even so, Bernadetta, I'll ask one more time. Please come out of there. And I'll tell you one more time. It's not happening. Not right now, not today. You leave me no alternative. If you're near the door, you'd better step away. <gasps> My door! Why? Now hurry along, Bernadetta. You've got lots of training to catch up on. Spare me! I'll train! I'll train! Just... not with you. Anyone but you, please. Is that so? That presents a problem. I know we are two very different people. But whether or not you like me, we are on the same side. And must learn to work together. It's... Uh, not about any of that! If this is how you treat people on your own side, what do you do to your enemies? Don't ask questions you don't want answers to. I did what was necessary to get you to comply. Nothing more. I do hope that the professor will be able to help you through the rest of your training. In the meantime, I will fix your door. Good luck! Um... Right! Okay! Good! Oh! It's Leonie! Perfect. The soil's ready. Let's get to planting. She's so diligent, I can barely... Oh! Look at her elbow! There we go, all set. Now a little water. Her sleeve's all torn. She should get that fixed. Hey, Bernadetta, what are you doing here? Uh, Leone! I was... Uh, hmm? What is it? I was just... at... 
admiring your hard work. If you've got time to stare, you may as well help me out. Is that all you wanted to say? Uh, not exactly. Well, come on, out with it. Oh, it's the, the elbow. Your elbow looks fine to me. Is it bothering you? Not mine, yours. Your sleeve's torn. Huh, how about that? You're right, I didn't notice. You could have just told me right away, you know. It's just a little tear, though. Nothing to worry about. If you don't mind, I could fix it for you. It would only take a minute. You can do that? I'm actually pretty good at sewing. I never knew. Well, if you're offering, by all means. Just let me finish watering these. Oh, I guess I should get this shirt off first, though, huh? What? Hold on, don't 